Hey guys, welcome back. So today is gonna be YouTube made me buy it. I think this was a tag. I think this was a tag maybe a couple of years ago. Talked to you guys about the products that YouTube seriously made me buy. Some worked, some did not. I'm so sorry I purchased them. So let's jump into this guy, which is the Air, the Dior Air Flash. So this is definitely a cult favorite. It's been in the back of my mind to buy it, and I did, and I really do like the foundation. There are pros and cons. So the pro is that it gives you a very like airbrushed appearance. It does blur out any pores, imperfections, things like that. The bad side of it is, and which is kind of shitty, is that you only get 2.3 fluid ounces, which uses up very quickly because I think this is my second one and I hate to say it, but it's I only use this on certain occasions only because it's not really an everyday foundation unless you have a money tree growing in your backyard. So Victoria Beckham came out with her whole new collection and these are products that I purchased last year when it sold out really, really fast. This year, I think they either you know mass produced it, but everything's still in stock and I purchased more things after watching Pixie Woo's video like I think we all did and like half the shit was already sold out because of her video so I will show you that in my haul coming up at the end of the week but these two were from last year and it was like again something that I saw other people talk about so the first is the bronzer in Java Sun so this is what the packaging looks like this is the product it's an $85 bronzer which is kind of cunty of her if I can be honest I wish she would make it a little bit more affordable because Estee Lauder is an affordable brand so it's kind of like they're totally ripping you off kind of overpriced but like her lipsticks are not worth it they're like the size of a sample size and they're $50. So it's like, bye bitch, no thank you. This is Java Sun. It's a very pretty buildable bronzer. Uh, I don't think this is worth it only because I have so many bronzers and this is like, there's nothing special about this. You can get an everyday buildable bronzer in really any line. The one that I can think of that comes very, that's very close to this is Ciate Bamboo Bronzer. It is very similar to this. It's got a sheer buildable coverage that makes you look very sun-kissed. This is a pretty color. I'm not gonna say it's totally not worth it, but it just, I mean, to me, there's really nothing super spectacular about this product. I think is worth it is the highlighter, is the highlighter in Modern Mercury. Like I went through a freaking war zone in order to get this product. I think I got it off of uh, Neiman Marcus when it came back in stock for a really short time last year. It is a beautiful metallic -y chrome highlighter. Very smooth, it doesn't settle into your fine lines and wrinkles. It just gives you that really pretty um, intense highlighter look if that's the look that you're going for. I will tell you like a word of caution, which I did last year, because I remember in the video last year when I wore this, I put it on too heavy handedly and it looked like I was bruised on my cheekbones because it does have that kind of cooler undertone to it. So just be leery of that when you are throwing it on your cheek. I have to talk about uh, Natasha Denona's Lila palette because I think it is spectacular. I don't think it sold out right away, if at all, like the Sunset Palette did. This is like her cool toned version. I really I really feel like these palettes are worth the money because you can get it on Beautylish for three easy pays if that's, you know, what you wanna do. I actually didn't this time. I think I had something else on. I think I had something else on easy. I mean, it is just, there's this one shade in here that is so like multi-dimensional. It has, it's kind of like Max Club but with like a bigger dick. I've always loved her palettes. I kind of think that out of everything that she creates, which I think is like 90% 90 of it I love, I think her shadows are the way to go and the where to splurge in her line because they really are one of a kind. I just love them. So definitely check that out. So Candy Johnson came out with uh, her collection with Too Faced and I really like her. I think she seems like really genuine and sweet. So I got I got two of the melted um, lipsticks and I love them. I've always loved Too Faced melted MAC lipsticks because they are super long wearing and they don't, they wear, they wear really well. Like they don't get super drying and the formula is really great. So I purchased Freshly Baked 
and sweet and sour. I cannot wait to wear the sweet and sour color. It is like every time, every person that I saw review this, when they were wearing this shade, I was like, oh my gosh, I love that color. It just looks good on everybody. I definitely think that this is worth it. And this is like the perfect kind of dusty rose color that just everybody is going for. So I definitely recommend these. The banana pudding powder, I was really kind of like, I don't know about this. It really does brighten and blur, which is really strange coming from like a yellow powder. I'm I'm wearing it underneath my eyes today and I really felt like it brightened this area super nicely and almost kind of like blurred away my pores. People who are super fair and maybe have like some pink undertones to their skin, I don't know if this is gonna work for you. It's supposed to smell like bananas, but I don't really get that scent at all. Uh, oh, and for these, have a taste to them at first. So when you put them on, I will say that there is kind of like a taste, but it goes away. So if that bothers you, it might not be your thing. This product is the Stila Bronzed Bell, and these are the glitter sticks. For me, I don't really like them. I, if you like glitter and you love like a, you are a glitter fanatic, you will love this because it is really pigmented. And out of all the glitter products that I've ever used it does go on the lid the smoothest but for me i felt like there was a ton of fallout and i just am so too lazy and i don't want to deal with the cleanup after that so this is probably the only one that i will purchase i will still wear it i just don't know if i think it's really worth it maybe because i'm not a glitter person uh soap and glory lip glosses i don't like this because it is really really spicy on the lips and i do like some tingle but this like is a weird tingle it's like a tingle on steroids an uncomfortable tingle and it doesn't even really plump your lips I did not like these this was a pass for me okay the next thing that i really didn't like is the anastasia liquid glow so these like aren't terrible they just really didn't do much for me. Um, I think the reason why I don't love this is that it shows a lot of texture on my skin. So I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, but it dries really quickly, which is great, but it like enhances all of the hairs on my hand. I mean, seriously, it settles into all of your lines and pores. At least it did on me. It just did not look very good. Um, I love the color and I think that it might be great for like on the chest or maybe the body, but on the face, it did nothing for me. Okay, so this product is the um, It Bye Bye Makeup 3-in-1 Cleansing Balm. I love this stuff. I think I saw Kristen Game talk about it, and it's one of those products where you feel like you kind of get skincare as you're removing your makeup. And for me, out of all of the balms that I have tried, uh, with an exception to maybe a few that are kind of tied with this, like the Colleen Ross Child, and there's one more, and I can't remember, really removes every single trace of makeup removes it completely so when you wash your face you're not washing like a little bit of makeup residue off and your face you're just cleansing your face I recommend this product is if you are in the market for a new cleansing balm it's great it doesn't really have a scent or anything it doesn't have a scent at all it just smells like nothing which i wish there was kind of for fragrant in here but it's probably bad if you have fragrance okay so this next product is the airspun loose face powder i don't like this. I know that everybody loves it and for me I felt like first of all there's this strong scent that I did I don't like this gosh it reminds me of like the stop and go when I was like eight. There's just like something about this scent that I don't like and when I put it on my face it's very itchy. Is there talc in this? Yes the very first ingredient is talc which usually that doesn't bother me but for some reason this makes me itch really bad. I doesn't really control oils and it really didn't do jack shit. Okay, so this next product I love. I really, really like these um, new Makeup Forever like drop-in things. And the ones that the one that I got was a contour and a highlight. And I think these these colors are like seriously the best. I think the shade I'll put the shades on here, but I think this is 112. And this highlight shade, which they already have in like a full size, I believe, is. I don't know. I will, I'll link, I'll put it below. I mean, the pigmentation is insane. And I really like this highlighter because it has like a pinky chrome iridescent to it. And actually this reminds me of 
Burberry's Earthy Blush because it's that one of those contours that almost has like a really pretty pinky beige base to it. So it would make a really good nude blush. So lastly, I wanted to share these. These are always go out of stock. It's so annoying. I mean, who does she think she is? This is from, who is this, Pat Benatar? No. Pat McGrath Labs. So I got this shade and of course it sold out. I'm sure it'll be back soon, but this is the shade Donatella. And I thought that like her lipsticks were all hype. They ain't hype at all. They look absolutely gorgeous on the lips. This shade is a must. It's kind of like I said, a beigey mauve, but they are really pigmented. Um, These are really pigmented, super creamy. They last a really good amount of time. No wonder they sell out like hotcakes because I mean, they were pretty freaking bomb. So I definitely recommend that. I know she's coming out with palettes that are $125 for like two rows. I mean, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.